What's up guys, Shane here for 3D Printing and today we're working on the shop. I got some fun stuff in, I have things. Let's talk about it. Welcome back guys. So, um, what's happening? Well, there's a lot happening right now. Uh, we got our stuff, yes. Uh, I did, already did a couple uh, recordings and uh, things like that of they weren't quite here yet but I knew it was showing up any day and it was going to come out before those videos came out but yes it now came it's awesome I have printers now so up here we have the CR10S that's all nicely modified the video on that you may or may not be out by now uh, the AlphaWise U10 is up there there it is up there and then I've got the Monoprice Select Mini to go ahead and start working on that one. So three more printers, I'm excited about that. Set you down. And so I can get a lot more done. I'm not really liking how they're like way up here. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to get like the step ladder and keep one in here just so I'm able to like get up there. But that's really the only options I have because the printers are so big, I can't keep them like anywhere lower. There's I'd have to, I mean, it would take up one shelf if I change this up a little bit. I don't know. And I mean, it has to go, you know, left to right. It can't go front to back because the beds are so doggone big that my shelves are only, what are these, like 18 inches deep, something like that? Yeah, they're about 18 inches deep. And I, when I measured, I need to have a shelf that's at least, I think, 20 or 2 or 24 inches deep just to get the front that would put the front feet at the very front of the shelf and the bed would not hit the um, wall behind it. Yes, I could pull all the shelves forward another like four or six inches, but then I kind of get worried about stability because there's gonna be a lot of printers on these and they're already hooked together and my super cramped space is already super cramped and that would make it even super more cramped. Lots of supers going on. But uh, yeah, I don't want that to happen. So today, what am I doing? I got in a shipment of foam core. This is, um, I don't know, um, something by like 30, I think. 20 by 30? Let's, let's see, what is this here? So it's uh, 20 by, so there's 24. Yeah, so it's 20 by 30. And it was maybe like 20 bucks for a pack of 10. I got white because I wanted to be able to see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing here is I'm making shelf toppers. So all I had to do is cut out the, I did a whoop. So I did a one inch cutout right here in the corners to go here and it goes all the way over. And it's 17 and um, what was it? So these are um, 17 and 9 16 wide. It gives just a little bit of lip here. The one down there is a little bit tighter, but that makes it nice to look at. So I'm just gonna do one, these are full sheets right here. These are the full 30 inches. So I'm gonna do these shelves right here first, and then we're gonna do the corner. I think with the 10 sheets, that's all I'm really gonna have space for. Um, or I thought I'm gonna have enough sheets to do probably these two setups. This one, I don't think will get done with these ones, or maybe I can at least get part of them done. I don't know, but we'll end up seeing. It's gonna clean it up a lot. Uh, it will give my printer feet a little bit better stability because right now I'm like, have them resting like in between. You can see that in there. Like they're just on those crosses, like just on these little things. And I'm, they're not gonna last there too long. So um, yeah, I think this will help give them a little bit more stability and whatnot. You probably don't wanna look at those lights. Um, you can look at me. So yeah, I'm, it's getting warm in here. I got the fan going at least, but let's get to cutting some more of these down and get them installed.
Okay, so now that I've done a few of these, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. So here's my situation. These are the the spool holders I'm using. These and where the hell mine went? I don't have them on I made. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so see these kind of just go on here and they are supposed to like, they're supposed to like grip here, but they don't grip anymore. And this one's got this big claw. That's in the way now, dang it. I wish I had something that would like, I don't even have anything I can like try and make it, but like, okay, so like see these here? If something could go like into here and then like, and then like hold on to it, like, like that. So then here, and they would just like, like two little, two little fingers come up into here and there's a big a flat piece there. I don't know, maybe I'll try and fusion something tonight and get a test print going this evening and see how that comes out. Man, it's just, that's kind of bugging me. I don't know what to do with that one. Uh, but I'm gonna finish getting the rest of these cut, at least for these straight shelves, because it'll take me, I think, it'll take two more pieces for that. So I can take these two for that. And then it's gonna take two pieces for each one of, oh no, a piece and a half for each one of those shelves there. So, I don't know if I'll be able to like finagle it where I get like one long one there and then use the, the little half piece for this part right here. I don't know, um, but let's just see how that goes. I, I did, so let's hold them all my paint stuff because we've been painting, but uh, this is going to house the CR10 when that comes in because that's pretty tall. I could put the S from up here down there, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. I have not even printed it. I just put it up there. It's plugged in. It's powered. It's ready to go. I just don't know if that's what I want to do with that yet. It's, it's I don't know yet. A um, little funner thing I did today. Well, just because it's maybe why not? I built a gate. So I just finished installing this here with my beautiful orange wall. But yeah, so this is to keep my little one off of marble steps. Like, or granite steps. I don't know who in the world thinks that is a good idea for a house, but no, it's not. It's it's bad, and I don't like it at all. But yeah, we did we did paint this weekend, this past weekend, I guess, and then uh, we just got all of our stuff. The so giant boxes all here, so that's craziness, and our blue wall. So it's been just kind of. Uh, getting things together and it's, we have piles of stuff everywhere just because like we're trying to like, wash everything because it's been in it's been in these boxes for four months everything needs washed it's dirty and here's all the boxes for all the printers and my computer and everything oh my computer yes I got that too that's what I want to show you guys here so I've got my computer my pooter it's down there on the floor right now so so here's what I'm thinking about this probably not okay so this is a bunch of stuff, just it, bear with me here. Um, I wanna get rid of this. I think I'm just gonna do a single floating shelf right here, five feet long, I measured it, five feet, maybe 20-ish, 20 24 inches deep, so kinda deeper. Put like three big steel um, triangle brackets underneath of that. And then I can mount the computer maybe underneath there in the corner, and I'll mount my two monitors, and I'll have my keyboard and mouse, that way, I can take the keyboard and mouse off and move them out of the way and have a nice work table there and that'll give me somewhere to do some kind of work. I can't do anything too heavy because it's gonna be floating, but it at least gives me something else to put stuff other than just this little table right here, which is great. I like it, it's working out very well. It's just a little difficult. So we'll see how it ends up going. All right, I'm going to cut the rest of these ones here and then we're gonna move over to these ones. So back in a flash. All right, I figured out at least for these shelves. So here's what I did here. So I've got the one big sheet here. I was able to cut down. And then I had the leftover strips from these ones because I had to cut these to 17 and uh, what was that? Nine sixteenths to cut these. So I had these like two-ish strips left over. It's hard to see. I mean, it's all white, but you can see I just put those together and I put those together with the magic of blue painter's tape. 
I had a thick roll here. So I just use that and I mean, it works. I do have some smaller pieces. I might just go ahead and fill this in. I've got lots of trash down there to use, but I like it so far. And now we're just gonna pull this off, copy it to a new sheet and do this one here. And then eventually I guess we'll do that one up there but I gotta get this one done first to make sure that it can hold the weight of the TiVo because it is so much heavier. My only other issue there is, I'm definitely gonna have to lose this because I'm already like, like sitting in those spaces and raising this up that extra, you know, what is that, 3 16 of an inch, that's gonna matter a fair bit or quarter inch, I guess the stuff is. Either way, that's not gonna work. So I have to find new ways to do the spool holders anyways. Let's cut some more foam board. Uh, well, I can say I'm beat now. Been at this for a couple hours. <laughs> it took a little longer than I was expecting to get these corner ones here done, but I've got three corner ones done, three full shelves of the long ones, most of that one done. I have two sheets left. So that's enough to finish basically both of these. I can do another uh, one down here in the corner and I can finish off that one down there and I will just have a few little pieces left over which I'll probably just put together on this shelf behind this one for now. So I definitely need to order another pack of these. But I mean, I'm liking it. It's, I think it'll work out pretty well. Um, we'll find out when I start printing if it all starts getting really, really loud. That was the whole reason why people suggested not to do uh, wood. I was gonna do MDF on these, but uh, everyone said, no, don't do that. So I didn't. Now it's just the uh, the wait for the, the proof in the pudding or whatever that jazz is. But so see, and I've got this one just for some temporary storage, but yeah, almost done. Everything fits on there super nicely. And uh, I've made some extra cutouts for cables to go through and go up. Down here didn't really need it because I've got one of the power, the power strips back here. I'll have another one down below probably. But uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. So that's gonna be this one. Thanks for hanging out for this vlog. I said I kinda wanted to show you guys what I was working on here and what I'm using. Uh, I did, because again, I don't have my stuff yet, I picked up a simple T-square again. This thing might have been like the cheapest slash most highly rated one on Amazon. A couple bucks for this. And I think each box, the a box of the foam core board was, I think it was like $20, 24 maybe. Again, I had to buy it on Amazon because I could not find this in a store anywhere here, surprisingly. Um, I, I guess no one here uses foam core board. I don't know. Either way, I got it. So if you guys want to do what I'm doing here, you know what I'm using at least. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all are subscribed for future videos. Hope you're part of my Patreon squad. There will not be an after show for this one. Usually the vlogs I don't do after shows for. So yeah, you guys can you know use some of the links down below, the affiliate links to buy things or do some shopping, things like that. That's gonna be it, guys. So good night and happy printing.